guys, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to Keegan's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make this juicy jerk chicken sandwich recipe. Stay tuned. Yes guys, so right now we're gonna give our chicken a nice little rinse. We're gonna add some vinegar. Not too much, about a half cup of vinegar. And then we're gonna add our room temperature water. Pour that first water off, and then we're going to catch some more water again. Give it a second rinse. Alright guys, so for today's recipe, you're going to need some boneless chicken thighs, alright? I have five pieces, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm not going to remove these extra fatty, you know, parts because I'm going to, once I season it, add my oil and all the other ingredients, I'm going to toss it on the grill, alright? So all this fat is going to burn off and it's going to add flavor to the chicken as well. So here I have my seasoning. I have some saison seasoning, chicken seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, complete seasoning, some black pepper, chili powder. Here I have some pimento seeds. These are crushed. And I also have some nutmeg, all right? Go ahead and combine. Make sure everything is nicely mixed, you know? Lovely flavors right here. Pour it on top, just like that. Then we're gonna add some oil, some vegetable oil. This is gonna prevent the chicken from sticking on the grill and it's gonna also allow the seasoning to soak right in, all right? And we're just gonna let this marinate for about 30 minutes, not too long. Mix it up, nice and proper. Yeah, I'm on. Just like that. And now we're gonna add our wet paste, or wet jerk paste. And for today's recipe, I'll be using Walker's Wood, Jamaican jerk seasoning, hot and spicy. Yeah, man. So now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of this Jamaican jerk seasoning, hot and spicy. Rub it in. Make sure it's rubbed all over, nicely distributed, all right? This is going to add that spice, that extra kick. You know, once you add this to the grill, oh my God, it's a wrap, you know? All right, so like I stated before, let this sit for 30 minutes. And while it's marinated, I'm going to start working on our jerk sauce. All right, so we're going to start off by adding four tablespoons of brown sugar. And once this starts to become caramelized a little bit, we're going to add some juice to it. We're going to add our... Pineapple juice, we're gonna add some barbecue sauce, some ketchup, and a little bit of that hot and spicy jerk seasoning. Time to add our pineapple juice. Oh yeah. Mix it up a little. And that's half cup of pineapple juice, guys. We're gonna add our barbecue sauce. About a quarter cup. Add some ketchup, balance out the flavor a little bit, not too much. And then we're gonna add about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of uh, jerk paste. If you're not a big fan of the spicy flavor, the spicy version, add less, or you could also purchase the mild jerk seasoning at your local supermarket. Now we're just going to bring this to a boil. Once it starts to boil, turn your stove to about a low heat and let it simmer for about two minutes. Turn them down. Alright guys, so it's been 30 minutes, so it's time to put our chicken on the grill. Let's go.
I'm going to add some of that jerk sauce that I made earlier. Add some butter, melted butter. Make sure both sides are coated. Fry off some plantain, sweet plantain. And we're just gonna fry these for about a minute per side and then remove them from the oil. Alright guys, so now we're going to chop up our chicken, need some nice rough chops real quick, just like that, then we're going to add some sauce to it, some jerk sauce, place it on top of the, you know, in, inside the sandwich, add our fried plantains, and we should be good to go, it's looking good. Nice chop. All right, add your chicken to a mixing bowl. And then add your jerk sauce. Add all of that good sauce, that good stuff. Pack with a bunch of flavor. Oh yes. Give it a nice little mix. Mix it up. Make sure everything is fully covered, you know? We wanna make sure the sauce is all over the place look at that guys oh my god oh yes so now we're gonna grab our bread so this recipe right here guys will give you three you know nice sandwiches look at that Make sure everything is nicely stacked together. Whoa. This is the perfect sandwich right here. Oh yes. So now we're gonna add the plantains on top. Add your ripe plantains. Ooh. So we're gonna add about two to three pieces. We're not gonna overstack it. Oh yeah. Ooh. There we go. Then we're gonna place the bread on top. Squeeze it down a little, slice into it. Now look at this. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at this guys. Beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. So we're gonna slice the other two. Slice it open. Look. Voila. OMG. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. This is so good. This is gonna be so good, guys. I'm telling you. Mm. Yeah, 
Yes, guys, so we're at the end of the video, and this is how your jerk chicken sandwich should be looking. There it is. Packed with that juicy, you know, grilled jerk chicken, fried plantains, all that sauce. This is the best thing ever. Let's take a bite. Mmm. 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 Wow. This is so good, guys. You know, the sweetness from the sugar, you know, the spiciness from uh, the jerk seasoning, and all the other spices and herbs combined together. This is the perfect, perfect recipe. Must try recipe. And if you enjoy watching this video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing recipes. Peace. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God.